Bishop McNamara High School is sponsored by the Congregation of Holy Cross, Moreau Province, whose earliest educational establishment in the United States is the University of Notre Dame in South Bend, Indiana. The Congregation of Holy Cross has established schools as a continuation of the legacy of the Blessed Father Basil Anthony Moreau to cultivate minds and hearts and to serve the needs of the church and the world. Educational institutions sponsored by the Moreau Province of Brothers of the Congregation of Holy Cross are entrusted with the stewardship of the vision of Blessed Father Moreau. These institutions employ their resources in partnership with students, parents, guardians, and other members of the wider community. Therefore, at Bishop McNamara, we focus on the harmonious development of the whole person, offering information and formation for the transformation of the world. Our faith influences everything that we do and helps us to prepare our students for a meaningful life. We are dedicated to helping our students to see God in all things and the face of Christ in all people, to transform themselves and society, to seek truth in all they do, and to be servant leaders who seek to make the world a better place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, source of all wisdom and understanding, we are filled with gratitude on this momentous occasion to honor the graduating class of 2020 at Bishop McNamara High School. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for these young men and women, for their perseverance, their accomplishments, their gifts, for all the ways in which they have made their mark and enriched this McNamara community, and for their successful completion of their high school career. We ask that you empower their hearts and minds with your Holy Spirit to continue to grow in faith and service to bring Jesus Christ to their community and to our world. We are grateful for the staff and faculty, administrators, coaches and mentors who have guided and formed our graduates. May they be encouraged through the achievements of these young people in their vocation to serve and educate. We acknowledge and are thankful for our families, realizing that none of us would be here without them. We ask a special blessing for all the parents, siblings, grandparents, extended family and friends all who have supported and sacrificed for our graduates to be here today. And finally, we know that life presents us with many crosses and unexpected challenges will confront us each day, even the one that prevents us from gathering together for this time-honored celebration. We ask you, O merciful Father, that whatever adversities these graduates may encounter, May it deepen their faith in your protective care. May it bring them closer to your loving presence. May it strengthen the bonds of friendship they share with one another. May they be instruments of mutual understanding and compassion. And may they always be resilient to face the future, trusting in your providence as they begin today this new chapter in their lives. Pour out abundantly your heavenly blessing upon our celebration, upon these young people, their families, and the entire Bishop McNamara community. These we ask in the most holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Saint Brother Andre, 
pray for us. Blessed Father Moreau, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to welcome the class of 2020, as well as your family and friends, the Bishop McNamara High School faculty and staff, parents, grandparents, board members, benefactors, and of course, those onlookers who are watching this video celebration of the graduating class of 2020 at Bishop McNamara High School. Over the past four days, we have celebrated this amazing class. On Monday, we recognized the scholarship and leadership that this phenomenal class has displayed over these past four years. On Tuesday, you had a chance to see just how much you've grown and changed over the years and how you've come together despite this pandemic. On Wednesday, we heard in many creative ways the college choices of your classmates. On Thursday, we prayed together and remembered that with God, all things are possible. I don't know about you, but hearing the scripture readings so wonderfully narrated the prayers and offerings being given with such authenticity, the inspirational messages from our student body president, Ayanna McCarley, and our school principal, Mrs. Carter, and the beautiful rendition of Amazing Grace played for us by Adriana Imes, left me longing to see you all in person, and yet also thankful and honored to have had the chance to have walked this journey with you. Don't ever forget the most important message from last night's prayer service, that God loves you and that he never disappoints. Tonight's celebration of the class of 2020 takes place on what would have been the day of your graduation. While there's no substitute for being there in person, we have provided you with the beautiful images of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception and past graduation processionals so that you can at least look and feel what it would have been like in person. Of course, as our world has turned upside down these past few months, what we hope most is that this video will serve as a lifetime memory and a reminder of how special a class you are. Over the course of the next hour, you will hear from two of your classmates, your class valedictorian, Brennan Wicks, and your class president, Ajay Batts, who, by the way, did an amazing job sharing her message of hope on CNN last week. I'm so proud of you, Ajay. We have also sprinkled in a few other messages from admirers and onlookers in the community, local leaders who wanted you to know how proud of you they are. We'll be presenting the award winners for our major graduation awards, and Mr. Brady will be calling the names of every member of the senior class, just as he would on your day at graduation, for the distribution of your diplomas. Of course, through this virtual program, we're not able to present you with your diploma in person today, but stay tuned as we have a special program planned for you in the coming weeks. At the end of tonight's program, I will share with you a few parting reflections, my last and my 23 year tenure at Bishop McNamara. And we will close as we, as we have done at every mass and every assembly at Bishop McNamara with the singing of our alma mater by your classmate, Sadia Bangura. I encourage you to wear your cap and gown tonight, sit back, relax, reflect, reminisce, 
and enjoy this program that celebrates you, the great class of 2020 at Bishop McNamara High School. So let me tell you a little bit about this great class of 2020. Four years ago, the men and women who we celebrate tonight entered into high school as young boys and girls with hopes and dreams that with God's grace, their family's love and support, and the help and dedication of an outstanding teaching faculty and staff, that they would fulfill their dreams and visions for the future. These young men and women have participated in a rigorous college preparatory curriculum, uniquely animated by the gospel. They have served the marginalized of society, they have grown in their faith, and they've strengthened their self-confidence. They have been instilled with a sense of responsibility for their actions and for the well-being of the local and global community. They have reasoned independently, strengthened their communication skills, and enhanced their problem-solving skills. These graduates have learned the value of good, honest, hard work, and resilience. They've persevered, and today we celebrate their triumphs. Our graduating seniors have achieved numerous recognitions and awards throughout their years at Bishop McNamara. Together as a class, 215 students strong, their achievements include more than 21,000 hours of Christian service. 143 of our seniors, or 67%, are graduating with a grade point average of 3.0 or above. 126 seniors, or 59%, have enrolled in one or more advanced placement classes. 82% of the class has been accepted into four-year colleges and universities, including 203 of the finest institutions in the country and abroad. And 99% will continue their studies in higher education, something that only 2% of American schools can declare. 97 seniors, or 45%, nearly half, have garnered more than $18 million in scholarship and grants and aid, and this number is still growing. These are the leaders of tomorrow. I am confident that this graduating class, this class of 2020, knows that part of the special calling that they have in life as Bishop McNamara men and women is to bring hope to the world, to lift people up, not to lower them down, to be constructive, not destructive, to add and to multiply as opposed to subtracting and dividing. They have learned to be artists of the future, creators of culture, and defenders of life. They indeed are a hope-giving force who know that true success comes in serving God and serving others. They are stewards of a future yet unseen and builders of the kingdom of God here on earth. We know that today more than ever that the soul and our world is in dire need of care and protection from negativity. The best defense against it is vigorous, intelligent, sincere hope. The kind of hope displayed by these students, bolstered by the ability to think critically, that is clear-headed in identifying what is lacking in ourselves and in the world, but then envisions ways to create it and endeavors to make it better. In short, this class has accomplished a top goal established for graduates from Holy Cross schools all over the world. They have developed the competence to see and the confidence and the courage to act. They are Mustangs for life, leaders with integrity, faith, and excellence. This is the graduating class of 2020. They will undoubtedly make a difference in the world. Please help me to congratulate them. Good evening, President Clark, Principal Carter, Board of Directors, Administrators, faculty and staff, and of course, the Class of 2020. My name is Ajay Batts, and I would like to congratulate Bishop McNamara High School's Class of 2020 for successfully completing high school. I would like to thank Bishop McNamara for all the amazing opportunities and experiences I've had during my time here. I am so thankful for all the relationships and friends I've made, the inspiring people I've met, and the abundant knowledge I've been gifted. Many of the most memorable moments of my life have been made here, including being elected your senior class president alongside my best friend and your vice president, Naila Reeves. 
I would also like to thank my amazing family who has supported me through everything I've done. Bishop McNamara and everyone here has shaped me and made me to the person I am today. While we may feel many emotions, sadness, anxiety, disappointment, and confusion after our last few months of virtual school, we must remember that we have made memories and built bonds that will last a lifetime and absolutely nothing can take away from them. We progress through school with the expectations that we will be doing the same things that every other class before us had done, such as having a prom and graduation ceremony, as well as the little things, signing each other's uniforms, running outside into the field on the last day of classes, watching everyone's reaction to our slideshow at the seniors' farewell service, passing out our senior portraits, all of these traditions can be seen as our defining moment as a class, but it's not. Our strength and unity will be our defining moment. Thanks to everyone's extraordinary creative talents, we are able to share these moments collectively. I'm blown away at the commitment that we have to each other in this class. Everyone is showing that they truly care. Our unity as a class will outlast any and all obstacles we face, including this one. The class of 2020 is anything but typical. Everything we face has been unique to us. I think we all know how eventful our class trip to Hershey Park last year was. We are no stranger to unprecedented events, but I think this one definitely takes the cake. Despite this, there is no doubt in my mind that we will overcome this and grow stronger than ever before. The end of the year events that we may unfortunately not experience, while traditional, will not and do not define our entire high school experience. God had other plans in mind. He wanted to use us in a way we could never have imagined. Our inevitable courage and determination to persevere during this pandemic has taken the entire school and beyond by storm. Zoom calls and Google Classroom has definitely been a lifeline to staying the course. We have continued to have conversations with our teachers about lessons and schoolwork. We check in with each other and share everyone's well-being. And we have continued to spread kindness and love throughout the school community. Our incredible efforts as a class has made it possible for a great deal of positivity to come out of this unfortunate situation. We have handled this world crisis with dignity, showcasing our maturity. We embody resiliency that will make us stand out in the world. We have strength many have come to admire. I am so proud and honored to be a member of Bishop McNamara's graduating class of 2020. I'm even more honored to be one of its leaders. I have witnessed the exceptional impact this class has made on the school, and it confirms that we are destined for greatness. Let us keep in mind that what we are currently facing is not the end. It is simply an interruption, an interruption that has strengthened our bonds and has made us rely on each other even more. No matter what our pursuits beyond high school are, we must remember that our high school experience helped us get there. Just because we had a semi-disappointing end does not mean high school as a whole was a disappointment. These past four years have been so important to making us the young adults that we are today. I know we will all move past these troubling times and make it to the other side together. Soon we will be able to greet each other with smiling faces and the strength and unity of Bishop McNamara's class of 2020 will define us. Thank you. Hello, President Clark, administrators, teachers, coaches, faculty and staff, parents and relatives, and my fellow classmates of the class of 2020. Although we cannot celebrate our achievements and the prospects of our future in person, we are lucky to live in an age where we may remain somewhat connected to each other. This type of graduation is not something a single person viewing this could have ever imagined, but there are great lessons that can be taken away from this experience. And one thing that is present now more than ever, something that we have all experienced, some of us more than others, but nonetheless we have all dealt with, is adversity. We live in an era where people despise adversity as one of the greatest evils in our world, something that we should eliminate so we can all lead happy and easy lives. While adversity is something that oftentimes stands in the way of our lives and goals, I welcome its presence in my life. 
If you would view adversity as an insurmountable enemy that relishes in your pain, it is hard to recognize its value. I like to view adversity more as my rival than my enemy. You may be asking what's the difference, but to me it's a crucial and inseparable one. When we classify adversity as an enemy, we see it as something trying to tear us down. We resent it. When we view adversity as a rival, it is something that challenges us to build ourselves up higher than we could possibly believe so that we may surmount it. There is an opportunity in every situation in life to grow or to die. We can move towards our goals, dreams, and ambitions in life, or we can see adversity and decide that this place in our path is a good enough place in which to settle. What's the worth of something when it is given to everyone? Nothing. When governments print up bill after bill of paper to solve their problems, that same paper that once meant so much eventually loses everything as it becomes commonplace. That's why if we rid our lives of all adversity, they will be less meaningful. When we overcome adversity, we do something a lot of people aren't willing to do. We separate ourselves by refusing to back down. And it's this separation from which achievement and greatness are born. Everyone that follows professional football in the United States knows the name of Vince Lombardi. He won the first ever National Football League Championship and the trophy given out annually to the new champion every year bears his name. Now, name the coach that lost this first championship. The majority of people that know Lombardi's name have no idea who that is. I know I sure don't. That's not to say this other coach never overcame adversity or did not lead a happy and meaningful life, but the point is the more times we climb the walls of adversity, the stronger and more notable we become. This pandemic has been the most challenging times in some of our lives, but as Coach Saw says, don't be soft. We can cave into the difficulties this disease is presenting us with, or we can utilize what it's given us. It's given many of us the time to do things that more often than not we would relegate to tomorrow. We can seize this time, or we can mourn what we currently don't have. And there's one thing I can tell you right now that is 100% true for everyone viewing this, not just us as graduates of the class of 2020. We will see adversity again. Sometimes it will be an obstacle we can see from miles away or it can be a sucker punch from behind. And while it's cliche, we have to keep moving despite these obstacles. Adversity may be a rival pushing you to improve, but like any rival, if you don't work to be better, they will gladly take what you seek. Remember what you want and why you want it. Write down your goals and go achieve them because the cruel, rea the cruel reality is our time on this earth is limited and is not stopping for anybody. So why not achieve what we desire? No matter how insurmountable it may seem, we can do it. Mahatma Gandhi, one man, mobilized an entire country to independence. Now, he did have a lot of help from all the people who rallied around his cause, but when his following was no more than a handful of friends and acquaintances, he believed in his purpose and did not stop until India was an independent nation. He did this despite a government set up for the entire purpose of keeping Indians from ever being able to rise to such power and govern themselves. We are especially lucky because we have been given the gift of an education here at Bishop McNamara that many people across the globe envy. We have been instilled with the Holy Cross experience that has prepared not only our minds, but our hearts to go out into the world and accomplish good and great things. We are prepared for the hits of life, so when we see adversity, let us rejoice in our opportunities to accomplish greatness and do God's work. Thank you. The Cardinal Award presented by authority of His Excellency, the Most Reverend Wilton D. Gregory, 
Archbishop of, of Washington is awarded to the senior student who through his or her personal and public life bears Catholic witness to faith in action and whose contributions to the faith community of Bishop McNamara High School has enriched and served him or her as a Christ-centered institution. This is the highest award that is given by the Archdiocese of Washington to a graduating senior. The recipient of this year's Cardinal Award for Catholic Citizenship is Sadia Bangora. The seal of the Congregation of Holy Cross is represented by a cross surmounted at its base by two anchors, the Christian symbol for hope. The Holy Cross motto is the Latin phrase, Ave Crex Spes Unica, reflecting the conviction that the cross is our only hope. The award is presented to one or more members of the graduating class who epitomize the hopeful witness, which is the core of Holy Cross spirituality. Through his or her devotion to God, through ministry and prayer, recipients of this award strive to make a difference in the world by living extraordinary lives and bringing hope to others. The recipient of this year's Cross and Anchor Award is Isabella Franklin and Cameron Spriggs. The Saint Brother Andre Award is named in honor of the Congregation of Holy Cross's first saint who was canonized a saint in the fall of 2010. Brother Andre Bissett was a simple man, but widely known as a holy man. From the steps of St. Joseph's Secondary School in Montreal, Quebec, Brother Andre served as a doorman for 40 years where he greeted, welcomed, and prayed for all those who came to him. As a humble and faithful man, literally hundreds of miracles are attributed to Brother Andre's healing touch. The recipient of this year's Brother Andre Award is Jalen Scott. The Blessed Father Basil Anthony Moreau Award for Academic Excellence recognizes the outstanding senior in the area of academics who displays a natural love for learning and lifts up his or her peers while in the pursuit of excellence. The recipient of this year's Blessed Father Basil Anthony Moreau Award for Academic Excellence is Naila Reeves. The Bishop John M. McNamara Award is given each year to one or more seniors who exemplify virtues of faith, charitable love, and commitment to the good of the community. Bishop McNamara was a modest man and a faithful servant of the church. He believed in restoration of personal and collective virtue, which he believed was becoming lost in our society. He said, the strength of a nation lies not in its wealth or power, but in the Christian character of its people. A loving, compassionate, and faith-filled man Bishop McNamara is credited for the motto that has guided our school since 1964, to think with Christ. The recipients of this year's Bishop John M. McNamara Awards are Sadia Bangora, Billy Daniel, Angelo DeGraff, Charles James IV, and Chinyera Okonkwo. Selected by vote from the entire faculty, staff, and administration at Bishop McNamara High School, recipients of this award bear witness to the core values and principles of what it means to be a Bishop McNamara man or woman, a person of faith, honesty, and integrity, strength of character, the zeal to make God known, loved, and served, compassionate, loving, committed to service, respects all people as children of God, is a leader who pursues truth and goodness, one who values education and understands that the mind must be cultivated at the expense of the heart, and is a refined person of faith who reflects often on God, whose daily actions are sanctified by prayer and practices virtue and piety as a person of hope. The recipients of this year, Men and Women of the Ward, 
goes to Paul Brennan Wicks and Ayana McCarley. It is my pleasure to present to you the following students from the class of 2020 to receive a Bishop McNamara High School Diploma. Each of these students has successfully completed the academic and service requirements for graduation from Bishop McNamara and those set forth by the Middle States Association of Colleges and Schools, the Maryland State Department of Education, and the Brothers of Holy Cross, Moreau Province. I proudly call each student's name as now a graduate of Bishop McNamara High School. Gabrielle Alexis de la Cruz Ada, summa cum laude. Alua Dami Lola Adewanmi. Taylor Simone Albright. Brenton Alegbele. Edward Lee Allen III. Leonora Amos, cum laude. Sherwood Armstrong III, Dean's List. Michaela Ayana Arthur, Dean's List. Kennedy Elise Ashton. Kennedy Olivia Atwater, Dean's List. Princess Ashley Awoshe, Dean's List. David Christian Bailey. Brandon Thomas Baker. Sadia Bonkapur Bangura, Summa Cum Laude. Jada Brianna Barnes, Cum Laude. Jemaine Henry Alvin Barnes. Miles Lee Barton, summa cum laude. Ajay Bats, cum laude. Jayla Nicole Beckton. Amari Jalen Bell. Alexis Sakithia Blackman, Dean's List. Nyla Jordan Blackman, Dean's List. Inaya Janae Boney. Alyssa Imani Boykin, magna cum laude. Nicholas Anthony Brabson, Maya Tori Bradley, Dean's List, Layla Maria Britain, Summa Cum Laude, Oscar Lee Brody III, Alexandra M. Broom, Dean's List, Angela Brown, Magna Cum Laude, Avani Brown, Ayana Eva Irene Brown, Lyris Janae Brown, Magna Cum Laude. Paris Sierra Brown, Summa Cum Laude. Kennedy Renee Bryant. Nija Imani Bryant. Tyrese Guillermo Burton. Kayla Marlissa Carroll, Dean's List. Caleb Harvey Carter. Sonia Cherie Casimir, Magna Cum Laude. Chad Justin Chapman. Khalil K. Cooper, Magna Cum Laude. Billy Wagjira Daniel, Summa Cum Laude. Evan Maurice Darden. Adrian Janae Davis, Magna Cum Laude. Brianna Faith Davis, Cum Laude. Kevin Andrew Davis Jr. Taylor Nicole Marie Davis, Cum Laude. Adriana Lavette Dawson. Angelo Verninio de Graff, Summa Cum Laude. Joshua Jerome Denegal. Maria Noel Dokes, Summa Cum Laude. Malik D.O. Edwards. Hope Evans. Sharon Cameron Fonteroy, Dean's List. Javon Lee Fonteroy. Devin Paul Felton, Magna Cum Laude. Jason Wyeth Joseph Fenwick, Dean's List. Grant G. Flanders. Justin Zachary Flores. Jade Teresa Ford. Isabella Melissa Franklin, cum laude. Luca Antonio Franklin. Donovan Varick Freyer. Alexis Nicole Gallman, Dean's List. 
Madison Maya Gent, Dean's List. Markaya Ebony Gothard, Dean's List. Isaiah Christian Graham. James Lawrence Gray III, Dean's List. Devin Gregory Graves. Bailey Jade Guy, Summa Cum Laude. Carrington Christopher Hagens. Sanaya Nicole Hanks. David Irvin Harmon III. Dania Ronnie Harper. Sienna Amber Harris. Logan Nicole Harrison. Cole Austin Harrison. Magna Cum Laude. Takima Nayara Hawkins. Cum Laude. Shanna Michael Hayes. Dean's List. Natalie Pinckney Hayes. Summa Cum Laude. Anthony Warren Haith Jr. Janaya Mercy Hepburn. Nola Rose Hill. Cum Laude. Sydney Alexandra Hennett. Summa Cum Laude. Diera Gabrielle Holland. Ernest Stephen Holland III. Dean's List. Ethan Adrian Holly. Dean's List. Pia Simone Hooks. Summa Cum Laude. Mary Catherine Horecki. Summa Cum Laude. Micah Elisha Huff. Dean's List. Gregory Christian Nicholas Hunt III. Adriana Yejin Imes. Summa Cum Laude. Anna Christina Irwin. Magna Cum Laude. Nyla Simone Jackson. Charles Maynard James IV. Summa Cum Laude. Madison Jennings. Summa Cum Laude. Akila Salah Johnson. Liam Jarrett Johnson. Dean's List. Vincent A. Johnson II. Nadia Amaya Joseph. Summa Cum Laude. Jordan Christopher Joy. Jason Edward Kalshovin. Jared Coleman King. Leotu King. Summa Cum Laude. Kolade Okola Adewi. Cum Laude. Angela Alua Aluamayowa Leeni. Micah Jaden Lee. London Lee. Jillian Lewis. Rachel Nicole Lewis. Lauren Marie Liberati. Summa Cum Laude. Xavier T. Locke. Solomon Ahmad Mako. Nicholas Xavier Malley. Nicholas L. Malloy. Jared Anthony Mamano. Jalan K. Marshall. Janelle Olivia Marshall Singleton. Dean's List. Sydney Anaya McCall. Kenya Elaine McCanns. Alexia Michaela McCarley. Ayana Yvette McCarley. Magna Cum Laude. Aaron Jarrell McDonald. Cum Laude. Kenzie Thomas McDonald. Court Leland McElroy. Cum Laude. Jade Noel McNeil. Dean's List. Daniel F. Mejia. Stevie Michelle Micah. Ricarda Renee Mills, cum laude. Maya Elise Moody. Maya Renee Morant, cum laude. Zane Xavier Mosby. Kaya Qualen Neal, Dean's List. Tamori Jalen Nelson. Lindsay Suzanne Newman, Summa Cum Laude. Jared Alexander Nolan, Cum Laude. Jasper Chidi Obiajulu, Dean's List. Kane Nelson Okeke. Shinyere Sandra Ada Okankwo, Summa Cum Laude. Elijah Alumide Onakoya. Quinn Terry Bird Osborne, Dean's List. Jared Amar Page, Ralph Emanuel Page Jr., Brianna Elise Palmer, Dean's List, Camille Charlene Parham, Cum Laude, Alana Marie Paul, Jacob D. Pavko, Chloe O. Elizabeth Pearson, Kaylin Elizabeth Penn, Cum Laude, Kendall Mahari Peoples, 
Kalia Aliikai Perry, Jordan L. Christina Peterson, Louis Dominic Pickens, cum laude, Aaliyah Anthony Pitts, Anthony Everest Powell, Davin Anthony Price, Emma Nicole Puret, Magna Cum Laude, D'Artagnan Tyrell Qualls, Raven Dominique Quander, Magna Cum Laude, Naila Avani Imlin Reeves, Summa Cum Laude, Simone Nicole Reeves, Casby Robinson, Christian Keith Robinson, Jaden Blair Robinson, Jonathan Troy Rodenhaver, Summa Cum Laude, Jayla Gabriella Romero Thompson, Giselle D. Rose, Langston Alexander Ross, Magna Cum Laude, Aaron Jordan Russell, Isaiah Noel Griarte Sampilo, Summa Cum Laude, Hasina Samuel, Trinity Marie Sandez, Cum Laude, Jalen M. Scott, Madison T. Scott, Anthony Lloyd Shands, Agnes Simpson, Dean's List, Noah Neverson Sims, Donovan Antonio Smith, Jordan Emmanuel Smith, Ryan Mackay Smith, Dean's List, Shelby Jasmine Smith, Caitlin Taylor Solomon, Dean's List, Marvin Joshua Spinner II, Cameron Spriggs, Brooklyn McKenzie Sumlin, Ahmad Jeremiah Tatum, Terry Mundell Thomas Jr., Cum Laude, Destiny Jessica Tillman, Logan Hunter Troyner, Magna Cum Laude, Layla Camille Turnich, Summa Cum Laude, Jarrett Craig Tutts, Julia Elaine Tutts, Kendall Avery Tyler, Magna Cum Laude, Paige Sydney Walden, James Lester Waller III, Sage Kai Monet Ware, Summa Cum Laude, Alexa S. Washington, Aaliyah Antoinette Waterman, Cum Laude, Imani Grace West, Dean's List, Colby Andrew Wiggum, Paul Brennan Wicks, Summa Cum Laude, Noah Christian Wiggins, Dean's List, Bailey McKenzie Wilcox, Magna Cum Laude, Elijah M. Williams, Jabari Christopher Williams, Jaya Nicole Williams, Magna Cum Laude, Joshua Lewis Williams, Karee Jarrell Williams, Nadia Chanel Wilson, Summa Cum Laude, Kenneth D. Womack, Dean's List, Dylan H. Wart, Summa Cum Laude, Morgan Sidney Yeldell, Ahmad Dravon Young, Nikki Zhang, Magna Cum Laude. Seniors, it's been a crazy year, right? Look, I know this thing hasn't gone the way you want it to. Didn't get the spring break you wanted. Didn't get the prom you wanted. Didn't get the senior skip you wanted. And now graduation, all right? But what I, what I want you to understand is in times of crisis like this, successful people make adjustments, make corrections, but never make excuses. It's rough out there right now. There's no doubt about it. All right, but there's an opportunity every single day you wake up be a no excuse person from here on out because you're moving to adulthood and everything matters more than it ever has before. Be no excuse, make corrections and adjustments, but never excuses. Congratulations, and I look forward to you leaving an unbelievable legacy on this world coming out of Bishop McNamara High School. Hey class of 2020, it's Jeff Kinney, author of the Diary of Wimpy Kids series, and more importantly, Bishop McNamara High School graduate class of 1989. 
So this was not the ending you were expecting in your high school career. These rites of passage have been taken from you, a prom and graduating and celebrating with your family in a normal way. I'm sure you're grieving for that, but I really hope that you're looking to the future because your future is so bright. You've been so well equipped to succeed and lead in the future thanks to your years at Bishop McNamara High School. The last few times that I visited the school, I came home and I said to my wife, these kids, they're the ones that are going to figure it out. They're the ones that are the leaders of tomorrow. So there are so many things that have been taken from all of us, just the ability to get together, to be with our family, to be in a crowd. I know that as things normalize in the future, you will not take those things for granted. You'll celebrate every moment, big and small. And I can't wait until you graduate from college in four years because it is going to be a celebration to behold. Congratulations for everything you've done at McNamara, and I cannot wait to see what you do. Congratulations, Bishop McNamara, Class of 2020. I'm Pat Lawson, Muse from NBC4 TV, and I'm so happy to be able to take an opportunity to say congratulations to you and to celebrate you. We know that you've worked so hard, you've sacrificed so much, and you've reached this milestone. You did it. And although we can't do anything about the pandemic, you can certainly feel so proud of yourselves for your hard work and for all that you've invested in your future and in your education. And we know you've got a great future ahead. After this is all over, you're going to go out and you're going to take the world by storm. So congratulations from all of my colleagues here at News 4. Congratulations on a job well done. Over the past 23 years, I estimate that I've given approximately 200 speeches per year for a total of more than 2,000 speeches over the years that I've been at Bishop McNamara. While that is a lot of speeches, I cannot think of one more important and more difficult to give than this one today. As I stand here in my living room in my new home in Austin, Texas, I am saddened that we cannot be together celebrating this special day. My heart is also heavy as I know that this will be one of the last times that I have the privilege to address the Bishop McNamara community. A community that has been my family for more than half of my life when you consider the four years that I was here as a student, combined with these past 23 years in my roles as principal and president. I really don't want this speech to be about me, however. I only mention this to say that I have extremely deep roots in the community and I owe my personal formation to this amazing school and church. You see, my mother is a graduate of Lorraine High School and Mount Calvary. I'm a graduate of Bishop McNamara, and our three children are also graduates of our beloved school. I'm also a proud Prince Georgian. I was born and raised here, and until two weeks ago, my wife and I lived our entire lives in Maryland. So as I deliver this address, I do so with probably very similar feelings to those that you are experiencing. Excitement to be graduating, sadness to be leaving, remorse that we cannot celebrate together in person, and fear about what the future holds. There are a couple of life lessons, however, that I want to share with you that have helped me to get where I am today, and I pray will sustain both you and me in the years ahead. First, after these past few months, I don't need to tell you that the world out there is tough and that it can sometimes be unfair. Your closing weeks of school have been snatched away from you. I promise you, however, there is a way that you will be able to look back on this time with joy. The great Austrian psychoanalyst Viktor Frankl suggested that the last of the human freedoms is our ability to respond to suffering and to find meaning even in the hardest circumstances. Frankel, a survivor of Auschwitz, asked even in those circumstances what life demanded of him. His answer, to live with hope, cherish the memories of friends and family, and to be a good person. The losses you feel are real, and it is okay to grieve. Don't let anyone tell you, well, the, at least you were able to do this, at least you got to go to school, at least you'll get your diploma, and so on and so on. Instead, hold your head up high and say proudly, we did this together to care for the least in our community, the aged, 
the immunocompromised, the healthcare workers. We took one for the team. We sacrificed what we had hoped to celebrate because there were many among us who were vulnerable. As you grow older, you will find that what you are doing now is a source of wisdom, which so often emerges out of struggle. Remember, it's not so much what happens to you that matters, but how you respond to it that makes all the difference. You will reach the point when you would tell your children and your grandchildren, yep, that was a hard time and even harder for some of us. But life demanded it. And as a generation, we rose to the challenge and they will thank you for it. And for what you will do in the coming years, I too say thank you in advance. Hold on to hope, hold on to great memories, cherish your friends and loved ones and be a good person. Number two, every day for the past four years, you've stood and recited our school pledge, which has in it the meaning of what it is to be a Bishop McNamara man or woman. We are Bishop McNamara. We are Holy Cross. We choose through our words and actions to build family, show respect, educate our minds and hearts, and bring hope. We choose to think with Christ. Throughout your life, I hope you remember and reflect on these words. They're not just words in the school code, but rather, they are words to live by. In the next phase of your life, you will be presented with so many more choices to stay with your major or to change it, to transfer schools potentially, which graduate school you might want to attend, what job to take, what relationships to enter into, to party or not to party, to partake in those things that do damage to yourself and to others, where to live, where to raise your family, etc., etc. These are all difficult choices, but I can assure you that if you follow the code that you've recited no less than 700 times in the past four years, your choices will be easier. So my second recommendation is to choose with your words and actions to build family, show respect, educate your minds and hearts with integrity, bring hope to others, and always think with Christ. And my third and final point is this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Of course, those are not my words. They're words from Scripture, found both in Luke 10, 27, and Matthew's Gospel, chapter 22, verse 37. Thomas Merton, a Catholic writer, mystic, and Trappist monk, who was a huge influence in post-World War II American society, was described by Pope Francis as, above all, a man of prayer, a thinker who challenged the certitudes of this time and opened new horizons for souls and for the church. Merton said this about faith and purpose. Until you find your true vocation, you will always be trying to live. When you find your vocation, you will be living fully. Until I came to Bishop McNamara 23 years ago, I was simply trying to live. Yes, I think I did some good things in my life. I worked hard and I loved people. But until I discovered my passion and my purpose in life, that is my vocation, I was always trying to live. Bishop McNamara, class of 2020, at the center of whatever it is that your life and career bring you, whether you are an engineer, scientist, medical professional, officer in the military, public servant, accountant, teacher, minister, stay-at-home parent, place at the very center of all that you do God's greatest commandment, and that is to love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your mind and all your strength and all your soul and to love your neighbor as yourself. For when you do this, you will find the greatest source of happiness, joy, satisfaction, and purpose. You will have found your vocation. So there it is. My three parting prayers for you. Live with hope. Think with Christ. And love the Lord and serve your neighbor. It has been my greatest honor and joy in life to walk this journey with you these past four years and with the graduating classes who came before you over the past 23 years. I have stated to many people that I feel like I am the wealthiest person in the world because of the rich relationships that I have developed, the millions of memories that I have accumulated, 
and the infinite amounts of love and joy that I've experienced. I am especially grateful to the families who have chosen Bishop McNamara as your child's home for these critical years of high school and adolescence. I have never taken this trust, this trust that you've placed in us lightly. You have sacrificed much on behalf of your child, and I am confident that this investment has been worth it. I am also extraordinarily grateful for the many men and women that I have had the privilege to work with over my years at McNamara, especially this year as we had to deal with these unprecedented difficulties. The word inspire comes to mind when I think about the talented and committed group of faculty and staff that have worked at Bishop McNamara over the years. Translated literally to mean to breathe life in, the faculty and staff at Bishop McNamara inspire our students to believe in themselves and empower them to chase their dreams. I am personally inspired each and every day by their dedication, commitment, love, and passion. They do this work unselfishly and without much fanfare. They are the lifeblood of our school. They are truly Holy Cross as they teach and touch lives for all eternity. In a special way, I want to recognize and thank our principal, Mrs. Carter, who was among the many heroes during this pandemic. She is a courageous, faith-filled, passionate Catholic educator who truly loves our school and loves every one of our students. I also know that today has special meaning for her since she is also a parent with two graduating in the class of 2020. Her daughter, Brianna, from the class of 2016 at Bishop McNamara, who completed her bachelor's degree from Towson University, and of course her son, Caleb, who is in our class of 2020. You are a special person, leader, and friend, Deanne, and I love you, and I'm truly grateful. Finally, I am grateful to the many ambassadors, volunteers, donors, and benefactors who have believed in our school, supported our vision, and invested in the future. You have touched lives for all eternity. I close with these final words for our graduates, as I refer to you as the next greatest generation of leaders. The great class of 2020, Father Basil Moreau, founder of the Congregation of Holy Cross, said this, consider the greatness of your mission and the wonderful amount of good that you can do. The education that you've received from Bishop McNamara has empowered you as leaders, inspired by the gospel, so that you may transform the world. Now go out and make a difference. I look forward to seeing you in a few weeks when we're able to meet in person for the distribution of your diplomas, so stay tuned. So I congratulate you graduates. I ask that you now stand Turn your tassels from your right to your left, and then join in from wherever you are in singing our alma mater with your classmate, Sadia Bangura. I love you, Bishop McNamara. Hail to thee, our McNamara, true maroon and gold. What we have in McNamara never will grow old. Brotherhood and sisterhood in Christian unity. Mustangs once will always be. We sing our love to thee. Hail to thee, our magna mera, faith and strength through thee. What we share in magna mera keeps us family. Education, celebration, life's great dignity. All my mother, strong and free, we stand and honor thee. Let us pray. 
Good and gracious God, as we have gathered together today in many different places, we leave united in one purpose, to thank you, our God, for the 2020 graduates of Bishop McNamara High School, and to ask your blessings upon them as they proudly call themselves now Bishop McNamara alumni. Bless our graduates as they move forward to make their mark in our world. They have received an outstanding education in true Holy Cross tradition, an education not just of the mind, but of the heart. Some weeks ago, these graduates received yard signs for their homes, displaying the fact that they were indeed Bishop McNamara graduates. Now, O oh Lord, we ask that these graduates become living signs, signs to our world, signs of hope, to a world that is apprehensive, signs of faith to a world of cynicism, signs of justice to a world that sees too much injustice, and signs of love to a world where too much discord still prevails. Graduates, may God bless you and guide you. Go now into the next chapter of your lives. Go with confidence Go with determination and go with God. We make this prayer to you, our one God, who is our God forever and ever. Amen.